Hey guys, how is everybody? Not that there's many people on at the moment. Just getting my colours ready. on them it's gross don't know why I put it in there because I don't need the extra space I'm hoping I'm putting enough paint in the pot but oh, I don't know <clears throat> the lid was a bit tight oh no please don't go gummy my wipe feels a bit bleh. Not that I'm going to need a lot of it. Come say hi. Don't be shy. Putting the black out now. So I told my group that I was going to be doing watercolour. Totally changed my mind. And I thought I'd give this gouache stuff a go again on a proper style painting hi Rob hi Wendy oh look that hasn't even been opened it's a virgin um yeah so I thought I'd give these gouaches a... hang on do I need to before I go and open that burnt sienna burnt umber let's do it anyway sienna's a bit redder than umber normally that was not me, that was my paint. Anyway, we're going to see how it goes. I have no idea what I'm doing for the wings, by the way. Zero clue. I might even pull out the glitter pens for that. Okay. Hi, Janice. Hi, Pam. Um... Yeah, it's been a long time since I've used gouache and the last time I used gouache was um, when I did the folksy painting. So as I say, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the wings. I might just do like a really translucent grey possibly. So I'm going to leave them till last. And yeah, well, we're just going to get into it anyway. I want to try and get it all completely finished tonight. So I might have to swap my paint palette over, pick it up, and also I wanted to test, I haven't got myself well organised at all, I wanted to give this pad a test to see how well, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't normally water gouache down like acrylic, you normally sort of use it straight on uh, when money allows i'd like to get myself some acrylic gouache because it it doesn't reactivate again with water uh, oh that's cool what she painted i'm getting really warm and i've literally only just sat in here okay um let's get on with the head i don't know what i'm doing so wish me luck Let's just get some base down, shall we? I'm using my cheap brushes today. I haven't pulled out the expensive ones because they're for watercolour. I'm not going to worry about having that perfectly straight. And we're going to be going and adding in all the details later. that's don't do that i'm really shaky today guys so i'm hoping i don't mess up i 
I just found a reference on one of them, like, I don't even know what you'd call them. Um, like where you go and get botanical drawings and things. There's, oh, I've forgotten the name of it already. It's like a site that has loads of vintage images that you can use. Hi, Cambo. So I just grabbed one of those and because I'm on my own tonight, I sketched it all out quick. I probably didn't need to do it that bumpy actually. Yeah, I just want to see what it's like on this paper because this paper's really good quality um, and I want to put it through its paces. But I might have to swap my brush. I'm not feeling that one. Okay, I missed that. Daughter just did an awesome painting. Find the next one. She copied a Google image of the up house. Oh, cool. You'll have to share it in the group, Rob. These are really, really cheap gouache paints, by the way. And my paintbrush has two really annoying strands. Let's give him some fuzz. I want him to be extra fluffy. It is. Do you remember the unboxing I did with the Art Gecko pads? It's the tan version. And I've just been really impressed with their stuff. I haven't got the... How oh, have I? No, it's in the other room. Um, if you f follow me on my Instagram account, you would have seen the mushroom which I did on the other one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. No, it's not on there. Okay, let me find my photos. Photos, photos. Camera. There. So that was... Oh, hang on. It's on the tan, you dingus. No, I'm being silly. Hang on. It's on the other side of this. There. And that was done with Posca with the iridescent one but it held up so well to the Posca that I thought actually it would probably hold up very well to gouache maybe not so much watercolour but definitely the gouache I think I just need to practice with this stuff I haven't really properly used it This brush is definitely no good for blocking out, but it's definitely good for fuzz. So we'll keep that to one side for fuzz. Ah, I nearly dipped it in my coffee then. Hi Sophie, thank you for popping over. Oh, it's really annoying. Look, my oh, you can't. My paintbrush is completely cream crackered. Let's try that one and avoid the coffee this time, shall we? Yeah, I've been getting um, quite into doing dribbly stuff. So um, I want to do... See, my brush is too wet now. I want to do a load more. So expect a lot of dribbly mushrooms and other weird things and so what I'll do is I'll come back with the white either I might bring out the Posca pen just to make it easier but we want to make sure he has a nice fluffy head but as it dries you should see it better because it won't have that shine like acrylic does So what I might do is just get all the black done first. So I'm going to turn the pad. Hi Yaz. And we'll get the little leggies in. So 
I'm not worried about this being super realistic. I just wanted to do something cute and fun. So my knowledge of gouache isn't particularly um, full, for lack of a better word, but if you do have any questions and I can answer them, fire away and I will do my best. Okay, so we've got fuzz on this leg, so I'm going to swap to my fuzz paintbrush. Let's pull the sleeves up. I can't believe I'm going to say I'm warm in this office. It's freezing, but I am warm. little fuzzy feet there's one really annoying bit which I'm gonna to have to snip off can I find my scissors of course not that's so annoying there we go you know when you get like that one little strand that strays and then you end up now it's split completely in half Come on, here we go. Bees have fuzzy feet, don't they? Pretty sure from when I did that drawing, it had pretty fuzzy feet. Yes, the art pad I'm working on is really thick paper. Um, and I'm pretty jealous, actually, because Spectrum was at the... Oh, I've forgotten what it was called now. Um, a massive convention in Germany, I think it was. And these guys were here as well. And they've made a pad specifically for Posca pens. And it has zero bleed through. Which is exactly what you want for marker paper. A little bit annoying, the brush is annoying me. <clears throat> Hopefully, you can see it drying matte now. They have little sticky out, I don't know what they're called. sticky out bits on the side like so little fluffy leg I try not to spill any coffee like I did the other day we up once we ah there a bit of blooming water Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to tackle the wings at the minute. I am quite tempted to get a bit of sparkle in there, just for a bit of glam. I think I need to maybe look at different paintbrushes for gouache. Uh, will you put... Um, I can, um, it is, if you refer back to the unboxing video, um, which was the Stabilo one, it came with the Stabilo goodies, um, the link is in there, but it's called, um, that, so if you look for that, you'll find it, it'll come up if you Google it. But it's not like Strathmore where it has texture. It's really smooth and lovely. So if you want something alternative. My paintbrush is going absolutely crazy. Look at the state of this. Look at that. No. Quaff. 
coffee. Got another coffee. By the way, my lovely Patreons, your first of the new tutorials has been recorded, so it just needs editing. If you want a sneak peek, I might, uh, I might be inclined, possibly. Time to move on to his yellow belly. Or his yellow back, yellow shoulder, whatever you want to call it. Hi, Erica. Okay, right, I'm not sure about the yellow at the minute. I'm... I don't know whether to blend the colour in the palette or just go with one and then, I don't know, let's, let's just do what I usually do and go for it, shall we? So I think this is the um, yellow ochre. Let's just get solid down, stop faffing. Just get the solid and then deal with the details. Now this goes to quite a fine tip, so I might be able to, with the same brush, just drag a bit of colour out. Starting to look a bit fuzzy. I don't know if you're going to see much when we come out into the tan paper, but. A bit of fuzz over the old legs there. too bad hi artist laundry is now on hold coffee done Right, I am going to, I don't know how horrific this is going to look, but I'm just going to pop a little bit of lemon yellow on top. Um, and if it mixes in, it sort of adds as a bit of a brightener in places. And I shall probably go with the burnt umber. Burnt umber. Yeah, sienna's too red, I think. I don't know whether my black will be enough to build fluff coming in the other direction. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, that's not too bad. There's only a very slight amount of warping on this paper. Oh, yes, that makes him look fluffy. There we go. Now we're talking. I'm using cheap house gouache. And when I say cheap, I mean cheap, like the works cheap. Is it Crawford and... Uh, but, but. Crawford and Black, which you normally find in the works. I also have an artist loft 
version. Um, but I didn't want to pay if I didn't want to get on with it, if that makes sense. So I wanted to try it before I go off and spend money on a medium I might not necessarily use. I think they're like two quid for 12 colours, I think. Ooh. I've got a pointy stick. I wonder what we could do with a pointy stick. A little bit shadow here and there, but not much. I'll keep that as my mixy stick instead. So, yeah, originally I was going to use watercolour, but as I say, I wanted to put this pad to the test when it comes to gouache. And Art Gecko are such a lovely, you know, they are a small company at the minute, but they do some really good quality pads. I don't want a bit of... Want a bit of shadowing it make more sense when I come in and do the black oh there we go look at that yum 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 so much yummy texture it's a where did I get it from possibly even the works again either the works or hobby craft but it's one of those deep palettes, like a daisy palette. I've never had one before and I was really pleased when I finally got one. Did a bit more on the wing, posted an update pic on that thread. Oh, I'll check that out later. So I haven't really been um, in the groups as much lately. Okay, so we want a nice black body, but I need to be mindful of the wing area. Big, splodgy. I'm pretty sure my kids are just raving havoc upstairs. So I haven't wet my brush at all. And I don't think you should necessarily with gouache. It's something I really need to learn a bit more about. While his belly's drying, I... Ah, look, I went straight over the blooming wing area. That's <sighs> because I wasn't concentrating. Now, unlike watercolour, I don't think you can thirsty brush this out. Oh, oh, look. That's, that's not a bad repair. Can't see it very well through the camera. Oh well, if I do the other side matching. I'm gonna need to wait for that to dry before I can repair it fully. matching I need to come down sorry I wasn't expecting you to be sitting here watching me try and undo something but it shows you that you can undo a mistake ish if I spread that out then it might even help towards the illusion of the wing the advantage of this type of gouache is that you can reactivate it with water but the acrylic gouache you can't So actually, I suppose it's not a, the most terrible thing to have happened. Um, 
Right, for those guys wanting to know, although I don't think anybody actually replied, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is the finished, the light's shining right on it, which isn't very good, but this is the finished Patreon tutorial that will be coming up. For your viewing, viewing, viewing pleasure. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you're on the Patreon. Okay, I'm just going to do some fluff into the yellow. There's a bit of texture built up around here. need to get that it's almost built like a little barrier you almost need to push the paint in it's hard to describe there we go right let's do a little bit of highlighting while I'm just waiting for the belly to dry off a little bit more <clears throat> didn't take too long either I think it took just over an hour so that's plenty of time for you guys to get stuck in so I'm just going to make a bit of a grey just so we've got um, our black on mid-tone and then we'll have a highlight There we go, just gives him a bit of 3D-ness. We could probably do with a little bit on the leg as well. Um, this one isn't, no. Um, there's sort of like lots of little mini tutorials and then either once every six months or once at the end of the year we'll work on a full piece but it might not necessarily be the same piece that we have been working on through the year. It may be something completely different but all the skills that you learned through the year doing these tutorials should mean that when you do the big tutorial that actually it should come a lot easier than you expect it to. Don't be hard on yourself, Erica. Honestly, I, the biggest mistake I ever make when I'm in a rut is I get hard on myself. But honestly, all it's telling you is that you need a break. Will you do me a favour if I set you a little bit of homework today? Would you do it? down a bit almost too white god knows what the kids are doing upstairs Don't forget to anybody that gets stuck or not quite sure how to move forward, come and ask in the group. That's what we're there for. We're there to get you out of these ruts. Don't be afraid to come in and just pull your hair out with everybody. You know, that's what we're all there for. Right. All of my patrons that are watching right now, or anybody actually, not just my patrons, but my patrons have to prove that they've done it. Let's get this bit of paper because it's scrappy. Let's move that to one side for a second. We won't be long, guys. Just bear with me. Get a bit of paper. Get a pen. 
in front of the telly i do not want you to concentrate on what you're doing do it on a telephone call do it when you're in front of the tv do it when you're on the bus don't care where you do it just do it bit of paper pen take your notepads with you it doesn't matter there just do that just do that and if you want to just i don't know maybe sit and draw some lines maybe cut that color that bit in a bit solid maybe color that one in maybe do nothing maybe do another one inside whatever just scribble literally just scribble and do whatever you want inside because it's not about creating something perfect it's just about a lot of people forget that when you do art you have to warm up you can't just get into it you have to warm up you know a lot of people like who do character design and things like that do just basic sketches to help warm up because it warms your wrist up, warms your arm up, your hands up, your brain up. Um, and sometimes you can't just go in and do a portrait straight off. Sometimes you just need to relax a little bit. Which is why my sketchbook, if I don't want to do something really intense. In fact, let me go and get my sketchbook. I'm going to be two seconds. right so this is my working sketchbook this is the state of my working sketchbook okay so that's the one i did for the video that's the other one i did for the video i've just stuck in there that's a quick eye study i did look how much paper i've got left but that was a quick eye study i did tested out some pens just did a load of sketching on the sofa, practiced a bit of face shape, bit of kawaii, just a little bit of whatever. Did that on a TikTok live feed, just mucked about. That's for a new sticker that's coming. Uh, that was for a draw this in your own style. And this was the other day before I did the mushroom. I was trying to get a sketch down for the video that's coming up and i did some just basic sketches having a bit of a play with some characters had a few more on the other side can't see because it's out of focus can't really see that very well they're quite light sketches but created little um rock dudes and there's the can you just see the beginnings of the mushrooms and then that's what turned into what I was doing. So have a working sketchbook. It doesn't matter how big or how small. It could be really small. Some of my sketchbooks, when I, the kids used to go and do gymnastics, I just used to take a little sketchbook. Funny enough, that was tanned. And I used to do scribble drawings. Like, I don't know, let's draw an ice cream. Okay. So we're going to draw an ice cream. Ice cream cone, I haven't taken my pen off once. Just keep going. And just do silly little scribble things like that. That's all you've got to do. And all it does is exercise the phone, it gets the brain going and you might scribble something that looks absolutely pants and then that's the beginning of a new sketch or a new drawing so don't don't whatever you do get wound up because you can't get stuck into something sometimes you don't want to do something in depth sometimes you just want to lighten up there's nothing wrong with that It's 
some shape to his back. Fuzzy bee, fuzzy bee. Doodling is just a brilliant exercise, it really is. It's underrated. And some of my best pieces have come from doodles, hence the name. know what I'm doing on the back here trying to emulate fuzzy texture and I'm not entirely sure I'm being successful but hey we're we'll keep trucking on we'll keep going Oh, too much, too much. What I need is I need to pull some of that yellow in, I think. These paintbrushes are almost too soft. If any of you are on Skillshare, I really advise that you watch my how to draw cute birds video because you will be creating to the month of Sunday because they're so simple to create and you can make them from so many different shapes. How's that? That's a bit better. Maybe it's because I haven't done his bum yet. He's looking all very strange at the minute. It's probably what it is. Just need to get some butts going. I was contemplating doing shadows and all sorts maybe trying to make him look a bit more realistic but I don't know I quite like the idea of him looking like one of those old botanical drawings right, I need to wait for that to dry before I can do anything else Skillshare blocking the yellow out at the minute and then I'll go in and add all the detail I need to later. Block his little bum in. This paper's holding up so well. I am quite impressed. Oh, it's naughtily picking at my finger. 
And it really stings. Never learn, absolutely never learn. Doesn't matter how much pain I put myself through. Man, I must have got a bit of paint or something in it. And some first aid. I've got any washi tape. It's really stinging. Oh, I was looking for that the other day. Washi tape. Rescue me. Oh, I've got another left on there. Oh, I might just squeeze a bit off. Not that it's going to make much difference, I don't think. Short of me getting up and getting a plaster. It's going to have to do. Okay. That's the most worst plaster in the world ever. Right, block that in. I do quite like how the wings have... Um, see how it's developed from an accident. And that's really annoying. A bit of water on there. Just like Bob Ross says, it's only happy little accidents. some serious lessons in using gouache that's it's the It's the Gecko art pad, the one I um, did in that unboxing video. I've got two, if you remember, one which is half black, half white, and then the other which is tan, this one. But I thought I'd put it through its paces and see what it's like holding up against paint. And so far, there's little warping to it. It's done really well. So we'll wait for that to dry and this bit sort of gets buried in when we do the detail because it won't look like that. Maybe I didn't want you to see them, maybe because they're not perfect. That's all right. I'm showing you that it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get a little bit of fluff around there. I think I might come in, as I say, with the Posca. I'm not 100% sure. Because my paintbrushes are so crap. There's just no paint coming off it. So annoying. Right, they're just too soft. They're too soft for the paint. Oh, for some new paint brushes. That I'm sure is the same size. It is. So I might as well just use the same size then. I could probably, I'm wondering, oh, do I even want to risk it? Let me try on a bit of scrap paper. You know the fan brushes? I've got two sizes, three sizes. I'm wondering if a fan brush might be any good. 
Well, potentially, let's give it a go. Hmm. Fluffy-ish, I suppose. The light is catching it in really the wrong place, which is quite annoying. Let me try and turn it down, see if that makes a difference. Sort of works, doesn't it? See these, I'm wondering, because there's, you don't see, you, you know the yellow's there, it's really hard to describe, but it's just tucked underneath. I can get away with going really dark under there. That's just as useless. Man, I really need to invest in some different brushes for gouache. If you're a gouache user out there and I'm giving you a heart attack right now, I apologize in advance for my shoddy art skills. burnt umber if we want the technical term done any share outs at all that's really quite unhelpful isn't it let's do a quick share guys sorry it won't be two seconds only two places as well if my wonderful and lovely admin wouldn't mind sharing into the group that would be most greatly appreciated <coughs> Um, brush. There we go. I am working from you know the old um like you know like in botanical books where you get the old botanical drawings. There's a website. Oh, I cannot remember the name of it. But I've had this picture for I don't know how long. And this reference site has basically tons of old botanical style drawings. I think it's vintagereferencephotos.com or something along those lines. Hi Vicky. I was hoping to be making a more impressive um buzz, but he's cute. We're still working on it.
so I can close off this section quite a lot because as I say it's just showing as a little peak of yellow underneath it all grab my Posca in a minute just out of interest let's do some fuzz coming out the side I don't know why but I feel like I'm painting a tarantula right now angry noise by the way this is exactly how my splat art work when I did the backgrounds the watercolor backgrounds this is exactly how it started because any of you guys that have fibromyalgia or any chronic condition that makes your ability to hold things a pain in the arse you'll know all about it and its frustrations um yeah it's a pain in the ass that's a bit there too i'm just gonna see if i can And how it will dry because the posca will dry matte and it will have a certain amount of translucency to it as well now the only trouble is is the gouache is water activated so the wetness from the ink nib is pulling the paint away so that's not dry enough so we're going to go in with the yellow and try and refine some of it We have a person sneaking into the office. What a surprise. Nothing I can do at the minute, sweetheart. So why don't you rock it and roll it until I'm said done. Okay. Get yourself a nice cold flannel. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't soak the bed with the flannel. No. And put it on your forehead. Mm -hmm. Told you they were causing havoc. little bit better just trying for it to not look too muddy I'm gonna to have to wait for the whole thing to dry thoroughly before I if I do go over with the Posca I have got quite a nice yellow actually I honestly thought they would be easier to work with. I'm going to zoom out and see where we're at. <sighs> I can't believe how hot I feel. It's really hard, isn't it? And when you... 
when I have a flare, my ability to hold things just diminishes quite dramatically. So you just you just end up dropping everything. <clears throat> I'm going to try a different Posca. Might be too thick for the job we want. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. Okay, so we're going for the thicker nib. Purely because I think it will hold up against the gouache a bit easier. I don't want to ruin the nib though, so I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. Do some of that side fluff. Wasn't quite expecting it to change into a bit of a mixed media product, but hey ho, project even. Once we do the back legs as well, it might look a bit better. Come on. You can feel where the um, gouache is coming off. Stupid name, gouache. Gouache. Oh, gouache. Whoever thought of these names? Just get a bit more yellow on top. orangey in the reference but I'm a bit concerned about going let's just try it let's try the sienna it's really old apparently as far as I'm aware it's certainly not a new medium I like that flash of orange. Oh yes. I right, need a bit of fluff, bomb fluff. I want to keep it a little bit drier on the brush for the fluff because it helps give it a bit more texture. Why does it look out of focus to me? Because it is out of focus.
I don't know if you can hear the dog next door, so apologies if you can. I don't think the microphone will pick it up. What do we think, guys? I need your honest opinion here. I think it's looking okay. That edge needs to be less black. Get on with the legs in a minute. This needs to be wider. It's lost its sort of V shape that it had. shape back in a minute. There we go. Okay, let's let's put the leggies in and well, we'll just go with it for now. The yellow bit under there is annoying me. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do, because I'm just um, I'm being really picky now. Maybe I should just come in with a bit of pencil after. Oh dear, so much of my hour painting that's now turned into 60 hours because that's what I do. Right, let's do the legs. Let's do the leggies. Lots of fluff. I'd imagine gouache would have almost been the original form from when they did the um, texts. Because that was just powder crushed. I can't remember what they used to use as the base. I'd like to get his out of fluff a bit more refined, but I guess in reality. It's not that refined, they are just fluffy. Hi! Thank you. I'm trying my best to get my head round gouache. I've never really painted properly like this before with it. I've only done sort of basic, like folksy type stuff with it before. So it's all a bit new to me. Pretending I know what I'm doing and it's sort of semi-successfully occurring right now. Let's join up that leg a bit more. It looks a little bit, um, I don't know what it looks like. There we go. He's getting there, isn't he? 
I think we need a few highlights of yellow when it's all dried there. <clears throat> Hi Olivia. Thank you for stopping by. I'd like to do these sort of tutorials on TikTok, but because I have to do it through my phone, I can't read comments and do a tutorial at the same time. When I do it on YouTube, I can do both. This is when I think the Posca pen would be ideal, really. Where is it? There it is. I think I prefer acrylic gouache. Yeah, I want to try acrylic gouache. Although I did make a big boo-boo earlier, so I'm almost glad I'm not using acrylic gouache at the moment because I was able to semi-rectify it. Oscar's hating me right now. I think I've ruined it. Come on. Don't give up on me. Please, Mr. Pasca. Stuff in it. Shouldn't have used my POSC pen. Killed it. Yeah, I've, as I said, I've never done this type of painting with gouache before. So you're all watching me literally learn as I go. He looks like he's got um, wire thingies, what they call pipe cleaners for legs. Bye. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah, he's, he's got little pipe cleaner legs, I think. I don't know. I might try it with a colour pencil over the top just to refine a few little areas. So, guys, are you happy for me to launch the new tutorial in February? Soon as we're not far off, really, and then we get started from February. Soon as you've got you've got the last part of the parrot to crack on with. It drives me crazy. I don't want to add water to it, but it's the only way I can seem to get it. But then, as I say, these are cheap, like stupid cheap. And when you use cheap products, you don't always get a good result. So I'm probably expecting a bit too much from them, to be honest. Hi, Jen. in um uh, february that's cool then we'll do it from there gives people a chance to catch up then i've still got to post out two originals to my what was my top tier um they're all wrapped up ready to go but i just haven't been able to get them posted yet i guess as well i'm using standard papers so it's drawing the liquid out really quickly which isn't going to help I 
I have some exciting new products by the way coming which I get to try out I'm not gonna say anything till they arrive but I got a bit of a look of horror when I um, said that I was going to decorate my fridge with them so I won't be doing my fridge I'll be doing something else instead One, two, three, one more, I think. Make that one a bit fluffier. This one, this one looks a lot more separated than that one. <coughs> Okay, what can I give you as a hint? Um, mm, mm. Oh, okay, the only hint I'm going to give is if you didn't know what they were, they look like Poskas. Wasn't much of a hint was it <laughs> ah that's my meanness okay fluff let's get some fluff going the fluff is making his legs a bit thicker but to be honest I don't mind Seriously, don't know what I'm going to do about these wings yet. He's looking so cute, actually. So much better than what I thought. Ooh, my guess is the new Upcrate box. <gasps> do you know, I haven't actually subscribed to Upcrate. I was going to. And then I decided to subscribe to the Scrawler box. Um, so the first Scrawler box unboxing has gone up. But I have two others from my two favourite YouTubers, or two of my favourite YouTubers. Um, so I've got to do some unboxing videos for those as well. So that would be quite interesting. Um, I really want to do the upgrade, but I had a choice of two. And honestly, it came down to budget because I really would love to have done the upgrade. I'm just going to pop a few little bright yellow highlights, not many. I do wish I'd um, I was able to do more. Now these are um, a company contacted me um, about testing them out. So yeah, when I get them through, I'll get a recording done and share with you guys. Hi, thank you. I hope he is. I wanted him to look nice and fuzzy, but I didn't want him to look stupid fuzzy. 
like unrealistic. I can't believe I killed my Posca off though. I'm going to see if I can recover that. Done something to upset it. more bits of deets in here see how we go on the leg I don't even know if we need it on the leg to be honest no not really don't want to deviate too much from the gouache he's looking all right isn't he I think so um okay am I gonna what gouache and <sighs> mouthful am I gonna gouache the wings or am i i don't know what to do let's just give it a wash just as soon as i messed up earlier we might as well continue to mess up and give it a just a light wash of that gray Yeah, that looks nice. I'm not even going to... I might have to eradicate... What am I doing? <laughs> Eraser! <sighs> Tell you what, I'll use this massive one instead, shall I? Go away, go away. <clears throat> I can't find my little one, I think it's in the sitting room. I don't I don't think I want a Posca pen because I think it's gonna to be too dark. I think I'm just gonna to have to I could use a grey pencil or I could use a grey pen. I wonder if it's dark enough. How are the wings looking? I looked at TikTok. I'm too old. I don't understand. I'm too old, honestly. Well, okay. I had thought, and I may still get the glitter out. I would love a coffee, thanks. There's no way you're done already. Are you on a break? I'm going to spy on you now. Where are you? Yeah, can you come home and sort the kids out, please? Seeing as they're still bloody up. Um, I think the grey I've got is going to be too pale. Yeah, glitter. Should we add glitter? I don't want to risk painting it because I know I'm going to muck it up. Why do I hear footsteps? Hmm? Bear with me guys, sorry. Go and sit in the sitting room for a little bit. Is my mother asleep? Water. 
to walk up. Okay. I want this one to be quiet. Because they, they can't hear it. They cannot hear it next door, okay? So they can just round it off. Okay? Oh my lordy. of trees right um i think brown gray might be better the little kiddos next door keep saying she feels sick so i just told her to sit okay i'm going for it this is brown gray five oh it's good i think it's dry that's dry let's do this side first we can walk right away. Yeah, I love it when they do uh, do the iridescence. I saw your tag. <laughs> Don't worry. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be too dark, but I don't want it to not be obvious either. I'll do this, and then I'll go over with the glitter afterwards. I think that works it soaks into the paper really nicely so it doesn't stay this really dark such good paper for this honestly a bit darker when we come down into here so we need it to have that almost shadowing underneath there we go I can't believe how well they've come out actually i'm a little bit um shocked if i'm honest might use a darker gray just towards the body so if i grab my brown gray 10 it's the um the gecko art pad if you saw the unboxing with these stabilo um what looked like an old valentine's art pack it must have been um the gecko books were in there and yeah they're brilliant
Maybe I don't even need much soap. I still can't get over those wings. I think I need to bring these out a bit more. Pop the edge of the wing a bit more. I might make the odd one a bit stronger. Maybe the top. Um, honestly, the, the white paper I've used is really nice. I'll show you again in a minute. I'll grab the other pad so you can see. But I love using toned. And I thought because it was, I don't know, like a vintage style that I was going for today, that it would lend itself to have it on toned paper. So I thought it would work quite well, and it, it did. Go for it. So, I'm so jealous you're in Hawaii right now. So this is my working sketchbook. This is the white one. Let me, I'm zoomed out as far as I can, I think. So this is my working sketchbook. So it's Art Gecko, hang on. So this is the guys you're looking for. Okay. So on white paper, I've used Stabilos. So this was fine liners and stuff. Um, that's just a very quick graphite eye study. Uh, just some basic sketchy stuff, I guess. Again, just some mark bits, but you can see you can't even see through it that's how well this paper holds up in fact oh blue tacked it in hang on see my little water droplet there so that's the back of that girl so that's how little that water's bled water that colors bled through so that's the front that's the back so it's really really good quality paper and they've just launched some new books which are specific for Posca pens. Um, there's another one that was a full illustration. So yeah, it's it's good stuff. Um, and then let me show you the mushroom again. For the guys who didn't see it earlier upside down so the mushroom that I did which you can't see because I used the shiny poskas which means they have a sheen but if I turn it that way there you go you can see the colors but I really enjoyed doing this so I'm going to do a load more so enjoyed that Okay. Are we going to add this glitter or am I going to spoil it? I, th um, I think I need to get the gouache. I need to be careful because the glitter pen is going to reactivate the gouache. I'm going to blend that a bit more. Go on, there's more paint on there. Blended that bit, yeah. It is most definitely becoming a sticker series. Um, I'm really, really annoyed <laughs> at the minute and more at myself than anything else because my printer is really bad. So I know that I could make the money if I could make the stickers. I can't make the stickers because my printer is crap. I can't buy a new printer 
because I can't afford to buy a printer until I start to make the money. So I've basically spent the last what feels like 50,000 years working on the new website to get rid of the big cartel shop and have all of my prints and everything in one location. Um, so I'm going to be launching that again soon and hopefully the sales from the prints that I currently have can go towards buying the new printer which means I can start printing the stickers because I don't think I've showed you actually let's this is a preview and this shows you how crap my printer is <laughs> lady glitter sparkles that's how bad my printer is and this is on vinyl printer paper and I'm really annoyed because I wasted it and this was on normal paper. Bye. That's on normal paper. So the plans are that you would be buying sheets of stickers like this, not as big as this, they'd have to be a bit smaller. But this is how they're going to be laid out. Um, yeah, the problem was is I outsourced a lot of mine before and I now have a drawer full of stock that nobody's buying, partly because I'm really crap at promoting it. Um, by the way, the website is up now. So although it's not an official launch, you can go and see it, um, benitadoodles.com. And it looks a bit swishy and lovely and the prints are up there ready. Um, but this is what I want to get going on, getting these done as stickers. So we'll see. Right, okay, let's do it. Oh, hang on a minute. No. No, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. No, what are you doing? Is that a really silly idea? It's not a silly idea. Maybe it is a silly idea. I don't know. Oh, why do you make me think of doing things that I'm not supposed to be doing, people? It's totally all your fault. Okay, I'm really sorry, book. I don't want to do this to you, but I need to a test sheet okay um, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I don't want to lose the reality though the reality you know what I mean okay so that's delicious and it smells really nice you see that that needs to dry really but it has that sheen to it oh it just never rains but it pours does it it all comes at once oh man put me in touch okay let's I think this one's too gold for what I want. Yeah, that's pretty much rainbow. Wow, that is some shine. They come up really nice, didn't they, Erica? I'm really, really pleased and I'm really excited. And I've actually had to cancel my Illustrator um, just to be able to record Premiere Pro because it's what I have to edit my videos in. They're all too shiny. I could have sworn I had one that wasn't. In fact, I'm adamant I do. I've got a pinata missing. I'm not amused. Let's just go with the glitter. Yeah. I just spit a load of Is 
see the sparkles. I'm probably going to just do like a little splattering, smattering, splattering. I don't know. I'm not going to go crazy. I just want a little bit of, just a little bit here and there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I can always just spread it. Oh, there we go. so real holy shamoli yes yes please i would love to outsource them because it saves me a whole world of pain but if it means it's going to cost me a ton i mean i have thought about doing pre-orders but i don't know how popular they're going to be to be perfectly honest But I have over 300 designs to get onto sticker sheets. So I've got my work cut out for me. I didn't want to do all that work if nobody wanted to buy them, basically. Because it does take a long time to outline them and everything. So okay, I'm a little bit in love with that. I'm wondering if I should put a shadow down or whether I'm just going to ruin it. I'll always find a way, promise you. I might look like I have no idea what I'm doing half the time, but I will give myself credit for one thing. I can pretty much 90% of the time recover from mistakes or work things out in some way or another so there we are apart from these annoying bits of paint i don't know let's see if i can pick that up because you can get rid of the gouache let's just leave that to soak for a second no it's just made it Ignore that bit. Ignore that bit. I like it. I'm really blooming impressed actually with the wings and how real the wings look. So let's do some close up. So there's the wings. Tilt that way, no? trying to get you under the light not that I haven't got a massive ring light shining on it already there we have it let's get you as close as the camera will put up with should I should I put some I don't know no leave it don't don't even think about it Benita just put it down I cannot believe how that sparkle, if I get the photography right, that sparkle, it has that, it's not even foil, is it? It's that, I don't know, I don't know the word I'm trying to look for. Right now my desk is a mess, I can't be asked to tidy it up till tomorrow. I have a child out there on the sofa, I've just smeared sprinkles all over my face. Can I have a quick thumbs up, firstly on the video, because... It makes a huge amount of difference to my algorithms and YouTube love it. So if you have enjoyed the video, a massive thumbs up. I would absolutely adore it. The other thing is, can I have a quick thumbs up now in the comments? If you would buy, not necessarily the set I showed you, not necessarily these, but would you consider buying packs of stickers for your journals or your art books because I intend on covering one of my sketchbooks with a load of stickers um yeah give me a thumbs up if you would 
I'm going to pretend I'm tidying up while I'm waiting for you guys because of the ridiculously long delay between me and YouTube. Six hours in three days, that is impressive. I'm one for no sleep, but I should have washed this brush ages ago because the gouache has dried. How do you not have one? Okay, if you can't find a thumbs up, a simple yes would be would be grateful. It's just to get an idea of whether or not it's worth my time. I want to do it anyway for my TikTok users because I know that a lot of the TikTok users love things like stickers and it is a good side avenue for me. Like these, oh, they'd make such cute little stickers. I'd love them They're all stuck to the front of my art journals. No, I don't blame you either. I think you're, uh, but you've got enough priorities to deal with before buying uh, jazzy art. Yeah, one's fine. <laughs> just to get an idea, that is all. Just an idea. Anyway, I should go tend to my sickly child on the sofa. Thank you. Looks like swearing at me, but thanks. <laughs> um, have a good afternoon, evening, whichever it may be, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share out if you think anybody would enjoy watching this. And there is a video coming out Friday. I think it's my vlog. I can't remember. There's two videos coming out. There's a vlog coming out and there is a how to make your own sketchbook. I made this from scratch and then my kiddo decorated it for me but this is a watercolour sketchbook made from scratch and I will be showing you how. So guys have a good evening and I'll see you later.